Hi ladies, I'm back for um, to do another quickie review. The next product I'm going to talk about is the Talia Wajid Curly Curl Cream. And it is a, it says on the jar, uh, let me show you what the jar looks like. And it says it defines curls, waves, and coils, moisturizes, and conditions, no sticky buildup. And the directions say, use on wet or dry hair, apply to hair, use fingers to distribute smoothly to define shape and style curls. Can be used on all textures of curly hair. And let's see, the jar also describes itself as a, it says it's the Curly Curl Cream is a non-greasy herbal hair cream that revitalizes curls and eliminates frizz. Conditions and nourishes hair while adding shine and moisture. Holds hair and style in style holds hair and styles in place. Easily shampoos out with no buildup. Let's talk about the curly curl cream. I've used I've used about half of this jar. I don't see I don't know if you can tell, but I've used about half of this jar. It is a thick white cream okay you know what I'm gonna say about this I'm going to reserve judgment on this one and I'm gonna tell you why because one thing that I have noticed about my hair is that it does not like creamy stylers especially creamy stylers in the summer everything gives me flakes and white balls everything everything that's white and creamy I don't care what it is leaves white I don't care how little I use I don't care how much I use without fail it does it so I try and this is true for leave-ins as well as stylers now, shampoos, conditioners, stuff that can be washed out, that doesn't give me a problem at all. But stylers and leave-ins with that are creamy don't work in my hair. They all leave white balls, white flakes, all kinds of stuff in my hair. This was no different. I'm giving you my review, but this I'm going to stop using this and I'm going to bring this out in the winter. And the reason why is because it made my hair extremely dull. It was almost like I had buildup in my hair. No matter how little or much I use, this product just did not do well on my hair. And I think partially it's because my hair, one, does not like creamy stylers and leave-ins. But I also think it's because this is not... I think this is way too moist. I need to use this product with nothing else. Um, no moisturizer. No, um, even probably not even a leave-in. And so this product just doesn't, right now is not working in my hair. So what I'm going to do is, do I love this product? No. I definitely don't love it in my summer hair. As I'm going through my hair journey, I'm learning that what works in the winter doesn't work in the summer, and vice versa. And this product I've tried, as you can see, there was always an issue. If I didn't use enough, it kind of came out kind of frizzy. If I used too much, it was really soft and strange and had this weird kind of coating on my hair. It was It was terrible. It was just... No matter how I tried it, I've used this probably about five or six times, and it was always something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this up until the winter and give another review on winter hair. For my hair, it was a total no-go, but I could see um, in the cooler months when this is... When it's not so hot and humid, um, and I don't need as much of a moisturizer, this might be really good.